Lucas Media. So we got some news coming out of basketball. And that is Bronny James had another game last night versus the Celtics. And he had another rough night. Here are his stats. Two points, three rebounds, one assist, 0 from 3, and really only scored one basket, right, out of five attempts. Now, Bronny is having a, a slump. You can definitely tell that the, the game, he's he still hasn't adjusted to the game. He hasn't. And I don't care what ESPN say. I don't care what Fox say. I don't care what LeBron say. Bronny is not ready. His confidence. I really feel bad for the kid. Honestly, his confidence is broken. Not only that, but finals MVP, Jalen Brown, they didn't cut him. And this is why people cover up their mouth saying that he don't think Bronny is a pro when his girl saying he going to go to the G League for sure and yada, yada, yada. Now, normally I wouldn't post this, but no, nah, damn that. If TMZ can post it. If ESPN can post it, if I, if all these other different sites can post it, then why I can't talk about it? You know what I mean? But no, like, I think I think the majority of the league knows that Bronny's not ready. But I think that because, you know, you want to be a fan of clutch sports and you want to be on LeBron's good side, that, you know, you're going to say the vanilla things, i.e. a Gilbert Arenas trying to constantly argue that, we giving Bronny too much of a hard time. Now, a former NBA player, Ennis, Ennis Kanter, came out and said that he believed, basically, LeBron got a dictatorship over, over the NBA in the media. And I agree. I agree. Should have stayed at USC for at least, at least one more year. And the reason why is because you got to get your confidence. Now, I, I Bronny got freakish athlete, athletic ability. I give him that. If you're going to have a, if you're going to be a Bugatti, you got to put the pedal to the metal. You know what I'm saying? Like, Bronny is basically, he's like a Bugatti, but he only going 25 miles an hour. And a lot of it comes from, it's your mindset, right? When you play sports or anything in life, 90% of it is mental. 10% of it is you actually doing it. You don't see him creating space. You don't see him out there with this vicious savages in him. He is more of a gamer to me at this moment than he is a ball player. And that's okay, you know what I mean? But I think that LeBron did a disservice. By throwing his son to the wolves so fast, there was no ease into it. And ESPN's excuse, or BSPN, shout out to Two Raw on that. BSPN's excuse is, oh well, last year, uh, last year he had a health scare. That was over a year ago. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not knocking it. I was one of the first people on here saying that if Bronny don't play basketball. That's okay. It ain't. It, it sports shouldn't matter that much. But y'all cannot keep having that excuse. Talking about, well, he only plays a handful of games at USC. Okay, well, if he played a handful of games at USC, why in the hell did he go pro? Why did Rich Paul didn't advise him to go pro? Because it wasn't about Bronny. It was about LeBron's narcissistic ego, in my opinion. And as a father with a son that may potentially be, go to the next level, maybe you have to know how to be patient with them. My son plays for a top school down here in Georgia. I ain't going to say which school, but if you know, you know, one of the best schools in the country. And, you know, you see players like they stand out and all of that. And it's like we can either rush the process or we can take our time. And, you know, as a parent, you have to realize, OK, he's not ready yet. And that's OK. But no, Bron, LeBron, like, man, I got to play with my son. I got to play with my son. But Bronny wasn't the best player in college. I mean, high school. And what he he wasn't even like first team all state in high school. But you jumped over people and became a McDonald's All American. Then LeBron says, oh, Bronny better than half these players right now in the league. I'm over here watching league pass. Yeah, yeah, I'm shitting on my coworkers. Then he goes to USC. He had a heart scare. And everybody, at, listen, everybody was riding with Bronny on that. But then when he finally gets cleared to play, you know, yeah, he had a, a standing ovation and all of that. But then at that point, it's game on. It's game on. And those high school players and college players, they remembered all that BS that LeBron was doing and how the media gave Bronny solid so what they was doing they was cooking Bronny in college he was getting cooked I'm sorry go back and watch the full games he was out there getting cooked half the time and he played the the same way even myself I'm like okay okay Bronny he's gonna change and he gonna turn it on and what I'm realizing is because I, I didn't listen I didn't been around some of the best athletes in the country since they was babies either you got it or you don't rarely the switch turns on which is why people like, man, how come LeBron don't have this Kobe mentality? That's just not him. Bronny don't have this Kobe mentality, at least not yet. You know what I mean? And it's rare that it, that it, that it switches. So it's kind of like we're we're hoping one thing, but the tape don't lie. And basically, this ain't hey, summer ain't nothing but a pickup game. 
what are you going to do when these all NBA players come for you? Because Patrick Beverly, he ain't letting this go. All these different point guards and shooting guards are not going to let this go. And Bronny should have been a point guard. Why wasn't Bronny trained as a youngster to be a point guard? Especially when you knew he wasn't growing no more. He this tweener, but he don't like to bring the ball up the court. You want to play off the ball. Who are you going to guard? You know, but then that's when he was going against Reed Shepard. And he was out there getting cooked and they switched him. And like, what are you going to do? When you put him out there now, does he try? He puts effort out there, yeah. But he got a long, he got a long way to go. And this ain't this, this not just some project. You basically taking a kid who wasn't ready fully in high school. Hell, Bronny could have went to pre. He could have he actually could have spent an extra year in prep school before going to college. But he wasn't ready in high school. He wasn't ready in the league. What in the hell think y'all? Most people think he gonna be ready for the pros. That just doesn't make any sense. But like I said, the people who LeBron are in cahoots with, allegedly, they're going to make every excuse for this, for, for this kid. And for the, the people who say we can't criticize him, so let me get this straight. I got to turn on BSPN, shout out to Raw, and watch Bronny. I got to turn on Fox Sports and watch Bronny. You want me to buy his jerseys? You want me to go to his games, but I can't criticize him? Get out of here, man. This is why, oh my God, like I'm so glad social media came out because this gives us a platform for us independent content creators slash fans to see what we see and talk about it unfiltered, unedited. And we ain't got to listen to the Stephen A. Smiths or all these other corporate media guys tell us, oh, well, you ain't going to school for journalism. You didn't play professional sports. Yeah, we didn't play professional sports. And guess what? Y'all want us to pay for league pass. Y'all want us to pay for NFL Sunday ticket. Y'all want us to pay for all these pay-per-view and boxing, these pay-per-view fights. But then you don't want us to clown about you. But you want us to retweet your stuff, buy your damn products, buy your shoes, buy cologne or whatever the hell y'all come out with. Watch your uh, production shows that y'all put out. But I can't criticize your game. Man, get out of here with this shit. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.